Welcome to a problem here about the greatest common factor of these two rather large numbers. Not that crazy, but we can handle it. So here's what happens. Um, we got four choices. And since it is a multiple choice option here, let's just say, well, since five goes into both of these numbers, remember, if your number ends in five or zero, five goes into it. It's a factor of that number. And three can't be the answer. Because if five already goes into both of these, then and that's greater than three, we're looking for the greatest number in this list that goes into both of them. Well, then three is out. So now, just just by guessing, we have a, almost a 33% chance of getting this right. So what do we do? Well, I'm going to actually use factor trees here to solve this. Um, and what I'm looking for are the prime factors that'll help. So I said 5 goes into 450. Well, 5 times 9 is 45, so that means 5 times 90 is 450. And 90 is just 3 times 30. And 30 is just 3 times 10. I'm circling my prime numbers. A 10 is just 5 times 2. This is going to help us. So let's let's hold on to that. What about 735? 5 times something is 735. Well, 5 times 20, right over here, my little notes, 5 times 20 is 100. We have 700s here, so that means 720s. 7, 720s, so that means 140. 5 times 140 is equal to 700. Right? And that makes sense. 5 times 100 is 500. 5 times 40 is 200. That's 700. 35 more to go. Well, that's 5 times times what? 5 times 7 is 35. So that means 5 times 140 and 5 times 7 gives us 735. So I'm going to combine 140 and 7. So 5 times 147 is 135. Now this is tough. 140... 147 is just not friendly. It's not even, right? Um, so what I'm going to try and do here is test some simple prime numbers, see if they go into them, into 147. Let's try the number 3. Well, 3 times 30 is 90, right? So so does 3 go into 147? Well, what's left over? 147 minus 90 equals 57. So 3 does not go into 147 because... Um, what am I saying? Sorry. 3 does go into 147 because 3 does go into 57. How many times? Well, 3 times times 20 is 57, so 3 times 9, 3 times 20 is 60. So 3 less than 60 is 57. So it's one less group of 3s here. So 19 3s will make 57. What does that tell me? Well, 3 times 30 gave us 90. 3 times 19 gave us 57. 90 and 50, 57 together is 147. So 3 times these, the sum of these two numbers will give us the sum of these two numbers. So what's 30 and 19? That's 49. So we're saying 3 times 49 is 147. Let's just think about that another way. 3 times 50 is 150. So 3 times 49 has to be 1 less 3. That's, one, that's 147. So 3 times 49 is 147, 3 is prime, and 49 is just 7 times 7, two prime numbers. So what do we do with all of this stuff? Well, the greatest common factor um, is going to be a combination of the prime factors, and it has to be something they have in common. So for example, let's look at the number 5, right? Well, 5 goes into both numbers, so that's great. We knew that already. But here we have two 5s. Right? Are there two fives here? No. Okay. So only one five goes into both of them. But what about threes? Here I see one three. Here I see one two threes. Oh, well, what do I do now? Well, let's think about this. If we're looking for the greatest factor common to both of them, three times three goes into 450, but three times three does not go into 735. Only 3 does. That's the greatest one they have in common. So, so far, 5 times 3 is common to both numbers. What else? Well, 2 goes into 450, right? But does 2 go into 735? No. So, it's not common to both of them. They don't share that factor. Uh, here, 7 times 7 goes into, or, any, or at least 1 7 goes into 735. But do 7s go into 450? No, it's not listed. It's not common to both of them. 
So the only thing we have in common here is a 5 in both of them and a 3 in both of them. So 5 times 3 is our greatest common factor. And the answer is C, 15. Alright, hope that helped.